Hello and welcome to Thought Provoking Tech. I'm Zach and in today's episode of Tech Tips, I'm going to be introducing my idea for a portable media streamer to utilize your favorite uh, m media streaming sites while offline, while you're on the go and you want to actually tap into the very expensive mobile broadband networks. Uh, so one of my personal use cases is loading a uh, tablet up with a bunch of uh, my kids' favorite shows. And while we're on the road, we have a uh, device that you already have. You don't have to buy a you know, dedicated car stereo or car entertainment system uh, or anything along those lines. You don't have to rely on old-fashioned DVD media uh, because if you have younger kids like I do, uh, if they get their hands on those DVDs, they're not going to last very long. Uh, you know, kids are hard on DVDs, and if they somehow get their hands on them, which happens, uh, then... You're not going to be playing those for very long. Uh, so this lets you take your media on the go and not have to actually tap into the, the very expensive mobile uh, internet networks. So uh, that's one of my use cases. Another use case for a idea like this is simply if you don't have great bandwidth at your house, but say a friend's nice enough to let you come over to their house and download a couple things. You could utilize this at home and then go back or download those item, items uh, and then go back home and watch them uh, on your own network while uh, other people in your house might be streaming things. Or if you simply just don't have, you have a horrible connection on general and can't really even stream connection, uh, you'll be able to uh, have a good streaming connection. You can at least have these synced offline and uh, have them available to watch whenever you want to without the worry of streaming and buffering, uh, especially if your network is being pushed to the limits. In other ways, if you're about to go to bed for the night, you can queue up a couple things for the next day and have those ready to rock and roll to, for the next day, and they can download overnight while you and your family are sleeping. Uh, so without further delay, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first use case I wanted to go over was like uh, going on a trip uh, or just driving somewhere or just traveling in general and having something for uh, the kids to watch. So one of my shows that my kids are huge fans of is Dino Trucks. Uh, so I'm on the Dino Trucks page and it is actually a Netflix original show. Uh, so it will actually be available for download. Uh, not every show or movie will be available for download, but most shows will. Uh, so if you see this little download icon, that means the show can be downloaded onto your mobile device. So I'll just queue up a couple shows, and it's literally just that simple. Uh, it's not hard at all, uh, very simple to get to and get uh, up and running. Uh, you can see that it says downloading in the bottom, and you can see that it is actually downloading at a pretty rapid pace, and that's because these files are highly optimized for mobile devices. They're not super high resolution, uh, and they're actually quite small. Uh, these four episodes are probably going to average around, uh, it doesn't say, uh, right off the bat, I'll be able to get to that later. Probably about 400 uh, megabytes. Uh, and some movies that I've downloaded have averaged around the four to 600 uh, megabytes for a full length movie. Uh, so that's pretty much it for, you know, like uh, going with, you know, Dino Trucks. It is very simple, but let's go with a alternative use case. So let's say I want to uh, download, uh, let's just say for, uh, testing purposes, let's just say I want to download Jurassic Park because I am a huge fan of Jurassic Park uh, and it's a movie I would enjoy watching again and Netflix has recently uh, got access to the trilogy again. I found it and uh, there it is. I've downloaded it and it is now in my queue. It's literally that simple folks. Uh, it's very easy to use and I do love uh, having access to Netflix while not actually tied to the internet. It's, it's very awesome. Uh, here's an example of a show that isn't, uh, or a movie per se, uh, that isn't available and it simply does, is missing that download icon. So it's very easy to tell what is available for download. Uh, as far as I know, there isn't a master list anywhere uh, that sh you can search to find if your favorite show is available for download or not. Pretty much you have to search, uh, have in mind what you want to, to download and then search for it and see if it has that icon. And if it does, uh, it does. Um, so that's pretty much on how to download. Uh, next, I'm going to get into a little bit on download management. All right, so you can see that I'm downloading four titles. By clicking on this, I'll be brought to uh, my downloads. You can see that I've already already downloaded one of the Down on Drugs episodes. So I can go ahead and go to here and see. Uh, icons with the little phone with the check mark in them. 
uh, that means that that I, episode has already been downloaded and you can see that these episodes are hovering around 100 megabytes apiece. piece uh, you can see that I, items that are currently downloading have the solid circle uh, with the thicker line working its way around as it downloads and items that are pending are have the dash circle with the uh, solid square in the middle uh, once when that icon or that bar isn't on the bottom of your screen where you're not actually downloading you can go back to your main screen and click on that hamburger menu which is that triple line menu uh, and you'll see the my downloads button right there in here you can see that exact same screen so it's very easy to get to and to delete if you click uh, with your finger or if you're, like in my use case I have a keyboard attached uh, you click and hold you can easily download uh, and uh, by hitting the trash can icon that will actually cancel all active downloads and delete all those files from your uh, tablet uh, so say you finish watching it uh, you went on the road trip and you uh, want to get rid of, rid of, of the dino trucks because you're done traveling for a, a period of time and want to free up a little bit of space on your tablet so there you just clicking that holding down the icon I, I very easily uh, removed all four episodes of dino trucks very quickly uh, so that pretty much uh, covers the the basis of the basis of uh, how to utilize Netflix uh, and its offline uh, uh, download tool to sh have a portable media streamer uh, with your device. So if you liked this video, give it a big like. I greatly appreciate that. Uh, and it helps the channel as a whole. Uh, if you have any feedback or any comments, leave those in the uh, description or in the comments below in the video. Uh, and I will get back to you with any questions or uh, just comments you have in general. Uh, also, if you did like it, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more great content from Dr. Broking Tech. And also, uh, I, I ask you to share uh, this video with any of your friends that utilize Netflix uh, that might not know about this very awesome feature. Uh, one, one more thing is if you do like what I'm doing with Dr. Broking Tech, I ask you to check out my Patreon account. Uh, there's different tiers from just a dollar. Every little bit helps uh, for the future of Thought Broken Tech. And I will greatly appreciate any uh, support that I get from uh, my awesome fans. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video was informative as well as entertaining. And until next time, Zach out.